let me address the question of why now. Uh, why is this an appropriate time, even a good time, to promote cancer research that addresses diseases on a global scale, despite the fact that, as everybody in this room knows, this is an era of flat budgets for the entire NIH, including the NCI. The burden of chronic disease and uh, non-communicable diseases is very high, of course, in the low- and middle-income countries. There's progress in developing countries, and that's been a backdrop for progress in the overall health sector. But the job is by no means over, especially in the bottom half of that lower-income category. There are hundreds of millions of people who still effectively are not covered uh, even by a rudimentary primary health system. The data here, I think you've, um, many of you know already um, that over the, over the next 20 years, there's going to be a, a vast increase in growth in cancer in the less developed countries. And the um, deaths in particular are expected to rise over the next, uh, next 20 years. There is enormous opportunity for making scientific and public health advances on the control of cancer. We want to build on success. The global health enterprise has been successful in the last 10 to 20 years, especially in dealing with diseases like AIDS, malaria, maternal and infant health, and uh, other more traditional targets for global health. There is tremendous enthusiasm politically, the UN, nationally, and other places uh, for doing something about this problem. Uh, and there's enthusiasm within the scientific community, even in, in a time when resources are limited. I'm finding that my scientific colleagues, scientific societies, are very enthusiastic about undertaking this, this enterprise. The center will have several goals. One is to identify the research opportunities uh, that uh, are likely to have major effects on the burden of cancer throughout the world. Much of its work is going to involve coordinating the efforts of the existing divisions and offices and centers at the, N at the NCI and to try to point those efforts directly at concrete goals, exciting research that will benefit people who are at risk of cancer throughout the world. For the first time, we've developed a global health strategy for Department of Health and Human Services. One of the strategy's three goals is what we're asking you today, to provide leadership and technical expertise in science, policy, programs, and practice to improve global health. And not least, the strategy directs us as a department to employ our professional expertise to advance global health diplomacy and improve global health outcomes. So we need to engage with our international partners even more aggressively than we have before. So by better coordinating and prioritizing NCI's global activities, this center is well aligned not only with our global strategy, but we hope will be a leading institution in realizing the vision of international and domestic activities informing and reinforcing one another. Because we can't do this alone, obviously. We're going to make a small, hopefully significant contribution to this effort, but most of you in this room are already engaged in doing work along these lines, and we want to figure out the best way for us to work with you.